Understanding the parts of a car carburetor is like having a sneak peek into the soul of vintage autos. Modern cars have mostly ditched carburetors in favor of fuel injection systems, but for those beauties of yesteryear humming around the streets of Portland or parked at classic shows, they are mechanical marvels that mix air and fuel in just the right amounts for combustion. Let's break it down. The choke. When your engine is cold, you need a richer fuel mixture to start. The choke reduces the amount of air entering the carburetor, enriching the mixture until the engine warms up. Without it, you'd be cranking the ignition till the cows come home. The float chamber. This part of the carburetor is pretty much the regulator of the party. It manages the fuel level and keeps it constant in the bowl. Picture it like a toilet tank system, except if you hear it running, you're likely in for more than just a higher water bill. The throttle. The name of the game here is control. The throttle valve, AKA the butterfly valve, controls the amount of air fuel mixture that gets into the engine. The more you press the gas pedal, the wider it opens, the faster you go. Simple and elegant. The Venturi. The Venturi is where the magic happens. An area of the carburetor that narrows then expands. It's named after a brilliant Italian physicist. It uses a principle that speeds up the air, causing a drop in pressure, which in turn sucks fuel into the stream. Think of it as the place where the air and fuel have their first dance before ignition. The jets. These are the precision drilled holes that the fuel gets sprayed through into the passing airstream. They're sized to deliver just the right amount of fuel for the engine's demands. With names like the main jet, idle jet, and sometimes even an accelerator pump jet, they each have their moment to shine. The idle system. At low speed or when you're just hanging out at a stoplight, the engine needs to keep running without the main system kicking in. The idle system, with its own set of jets and air passages, ensures your engine doesn't take a nap when you least expect it. The accelerator pump. Need a burst of speed to pass someone on those drizzly Portland days? The accelerator pump squirts some extra fuel into the throttle to prevent the engine from bogging down when you mash the pedal. For each of these parts, maintenance is key. A clean carburetor with no clogs or leaks ensures a smooth ride and a happy engine. While this mechanical wizard might seem like a relic from a bygone era, knowing these parts can save the day when you're out cruising and something goes awry. These fundamentals make up the heart of the carburetor, and understanding them can definitely make you appreciate the intricate ballet of older engines. It might just inspire a bit of nostalgia for the days when you could pop the hood and actually see what's going on in there.